planning a wedding involves so many different decisions, from the dress to the decorations, and of course you want to know what the current trends are. Here to show us what is popular right now is Linda Shepard. She is president of Weddings of Sarasota, and if you want more on that, it's WeddingsofSarasota.com, and Lynette Haskins from Der Dutchman, where they make tons of wedding cakes. These ladies know what's hot right now, and we want to get all the information, Linda. Let's talk about flowers first. That's one of the first things you talk about, right? Sure. Yes, flowers are important. The brides are um, all about the green and white uh, of the flowers. A very natural looking uh, wedding trend seems to be with the um, the girls with their hair and makeup, with the flowers, with their dresses, everything is neutral, and the flowers are as well. And they're, they're just beautiful when it all comes together. Oh, that uh, is beautiful. Yeah, that's the, oh, how the look. Pretty. The natural look. The natural nature. look. It's all nature. So it's all about nature, so, the green and the white. Yes, and so the flowers are being pulled from that, um, that realm of uh, natural, you know, looking bouquet, uh, English flowers like mm. that, you know, a bouquet of English flowers. Their dresses seem to be more neutral, too. Yes, the dresses have been very neutral or to the um, light peachy color, as well as the bridal dresses have been to the light peach or pink. And does that mean you would stay with the same kind of flowers of the bouquet on the tables? You can actually, what's done uh, now is that they take these vases, put them on the tables, and they use these as centerpieces rather than spending more money on a centerpiece. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That would save a lot, a lot of, of money. money. Yeah. Yes, it would. Although that's would. hard in Florida because things is. wilt so quickly here. Yeah. So anything you can do to make that better. Well, well that, what's hot in cakes? What, what, hot in cool. ca what is hot in cakes <laughs> is non traditional. Uh, it's no longer just plain white cakes, it's specialty cakes. Um, and so we'll see people picking different flavors for each tier, or they'll do dessert bars or cupcakes, mm -hmm. and it'll be all a different flavor. So it's not just one flavor, it's a multitude of flavors. I see uh, no brides and grooms on top. No, no brides <laughs> no, or grooms right. on top. No plastic people. Uh, <laughs> and many times on the side of this cake it says love, but many times it'll say like the it. last name of the married couple, Ooh, or ah. the bride and groom's name. A chalkboard theme is very popular now, as well as oh, the neutral colors. Good. That is beautiful. Uh -huh. um, and you'll just see special flavors and each uh, wedding tier will be a different flavor uh, or ah. cupcakes or just a dessert well, bar Well, speaking of flavors, you gave us a, a sample of some of the cakes above. Tell us what the three were sampling. This the, one. The, what is this? That is our White Rhapsody and that is by far yeah. our most popular. It is a, a white cake and it is sprinkled with mini chocolate chips throughout. It has a thin layer of mm -hmm. raspberry preserves oh, with yeah. raspberry mousse. I'd get mousse. married again for this. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. that is our number one wedding cake. Uh, and it's flavor. It tastes very good. Mm -hmm. Thank it you. It is. And of course, you would bring out samples for them, Linda, and let them choose. Let them yes. choose all of the things yes. that they're going to be yes. uh, having in the wedding. Yes, they'll come in for a tasting. They come into your place for a tasting. Yes, they do. I remember that. What fun. And tell me about the next cake. The second cake we have here is our peanut butter mousse cake. That's a chocolate cake with a peanut butter cup mousse. And then the topping or the icing is a vanilla buttercream. Mm. And um, the cakes that we produce, you notice that it has a, um, a very uh, smooth, that is not fondant, that's buttercream. So our oh, cake decorators yeah. um, do not use fondant, they use buttercream, which le lends to a palette. And it's the roses, safe. the flowers on top are beautiful. Very nice, thank they you. They are so And perfect. that's all buttercream? It's all buttercream. Oh, we do not use fondant. Our, our decorators have a special technique to make that buttercream I was going to say, because I know that a lot of people say it's hard to do really nice designs with buttercream. Correct. So you guys have a, a, We've been a very leg up fortunate. on a lot of We've people. been very fortunate. We have two premium decorators that mm. just have great skill levels. And so not only do our cakes um, look great, but they're pleasing to the palate. Oh, they certainly uh, are yeah. that. They are delicious. Yeah, the last cake, I've already started eating it. Well, what is that? <laughs> I told you that was good. <laughs> the last cake is our Hawaiian lemon cake, and that is a mm. coconut flavored cake. It has lemon curd and coconut throughout. And I'm addicted to it. Yeah. It is amazing. What it's are really some good. of the other trends, Linda? You really have to keep up with these things you because it, tra it changes. It changes like technology changes. And yes. The, and the brides uh, get a lot of their ideas, believe it or not, are Pinterest. Pinterest mm. is a big thing mm -hmm. with the brides, and they. They copy a lot of the looks from Pinterest, you know, as well as their hair and makeup or the mm -hmm. flowers or the whole look of the wedding comes, uh -huh. you know, from Pinterest. Does that make your job a little bit easier, though? At least someone's showing you something and Absolutely. saying, okay, this is what I want. Because I remember yes. we used to have to describe it. Oh, yeah. And you'd be like, no, that's not it. Yeah. No, that's to, not it. To try to get their vision 
without a visual mm -hmm. is challenging. So, you know, uh, as a hair and makeup artist, I'm happy to have pictures of what they want as well as their flowers, their cake, everything, and the whole look of the wedding. So One it's thing, a great idea to get that look. To get you excited about the whole thing is the bridal show coming Absolutely. up Absolutely. We're it's excited. It's the 16th annual bridal show. It's going to be at the Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on Sunday, August 28th from 12 to 4. Right. What's the point of going there? Well, if, you, if the brides and the grooms have not already picked their vendors, that is a wonderful place to pick the vendors if they haven't already chose um, everything. And there's over 70 professional wedding professionals to talk to. So they get a great uh, handle on what they're doing, and they can also book the vendors right then and there yeah. if they needed to. And you can compare, too. Right. You can compare apples to apples. Yeah, because you, know? you need so many you things. You get a lot yes. of free stuff. Yes, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of free food and, and goodies, yeah. you know. Oh, that's pretty. That, so those are bright base dresses. Oh, they're mm -hmm. beautiful. You've got to go and see them. If you're getting married any time in the next 20 years, you'll get your excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be me. Uh, Weddingsofsarasota.com, and the show is at the Sarasota Municipal. Auditorium on Sunday from 12 to 4. Coming up, money matters, especially if you're getting married anytime soon. Richard Stern <laughs> will be here with the information.